Okay, so we have already got our lye and goat milk um, solution here, and we're going to add it to our strainer. And I run it through the strainer so that I can avoid any, like, possibly undissolved lye that could possibly be in there, or the um, fat particles in the goat's milk, because I use frozen goat's milk, and the goat's milk kind of rises to the top, and it can use, leave some fat particles in there when we when we melt it. So that's why we run it through the strainer. So we'll just, now we're just gonna get everything blended up a little bit with the stick blender. And we're gonna be making, um, the soap today we're making is a Mother's Day inspired soap. Um, it's going to be called Gold and Roses. Um, my daughter actually came up with that one. Um, it's a, We've made this soap before. We called it a rose by any other name. I usually make it in the springtime, in the early summer for, so it can be used for Mother's Day. And I'm gonna divide it up into um, a couple different colors. This one we have, um, we're gonna have red, which is Trial by Fire Red by um, Nurture Soap. And then there's a pink and a gold. And I'll have to put the names of the those colors, they're all from Nurture Soap, but I'll put the names of them down in the um, description box so you can tell exactly which ones I'm using. So I'm going to add a, the base of this one is actually going to be light pink, so I'm adding, I think it's Rapture is the name of the pink from Nurture Soap. I'm not positive though, but I'll be sure to put it in the description box. But I'm adding just a little bit of that to our the base of the soap. And then we'll have the red and the darker pink, and of course the gold, the gold um, swirl too. And we're just gonna add my fragrance oil, which was actually Rose Gold from Brambleberry. That is the fragrance oil I use for this one. And it doesn't really smell rosy at all. It's more, it kind of has a amber kind of flavor, more earth, not earthy, but um, just warm. Um, it's a really lovely, really lovely fragrance. And I didn't like the pink, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. It was a little too light. And to get a good drop swirl, I'm trying to blend this so it's a little thicker. That way, the um, the swirl, the colors won't mix in too much. They'll say kind of separate when I pour the when I do the drop swirl. So I'm gonna let this sit also for just a, a minute or so after I get it poured in my brambleberry mold here. And I'll let it sit while I work with the other colors. And this one is the, the dark pink. That will be one of our swirls. I don't know, that might actually be the red. I think that's the red, the trial by fire red, which is like a really good, really true red that doesn't bleed, which is awesome. And this is our gold for the gold part of the golden roses. Oh wait, nope, 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 not gold. That's the pink. That's the red again. We're gonna make sure, I'm trying to get these a little thicker so again, so they don't just all blend together when we get them into the, into the base. And 
That's our gold. Okay, so we're gonna add the um, the colors. The my batter should be it's thickened, so it's not so jiggly over here now. So we can add the red first, the trial by fire red by Nurture Soap, and then we'll do the pink and then the gold. And we're just doing a drop swirl. And I'm going to do the gold from up high at the beginning and then kind of drop it down so it gets all the way through because we don't have quite as much as that of that, but I want it to be all through there. Now I'm just going to use my chopstick and do a little chopstick swirl. And I used to use a um, bamboo stick for this. This is a bamboo chopstick, so it's renewable. But I find these are easier um, because they hold up better and longer, so I don't have to replace them quite as often. And they clean up better than a, the skewers do, but I still use those for the swirling of the tops because I like the <clears throat> thickness of the skewer better for that. This time I actually used the bamboo skewer, the um, actually the chopstick for the top, just because I had it handy and I didn't have the I didn't have the any skewers on the work table. So, and I've got some organic rose petals that I actually chopped up a little bit because they were really big this time, and I like to use my own if I can. But this time of year we don't have any roses, so. I got these off of um, Amazon, I think, and we'll just put those on the on one side, and so we can still see the um, gold and everything in the swirl on the top on the other side. And these actually still smell really nice. They were really cut. They were really fresh, so I was impressed with the quality of these rose petals. They can kind of darken. Um, as the soap cures, but these actually have been staying pretty nicely when I've used them before. Our own roses um, are doing better now that we've actually had some trees gone because I have I didn't really know anything about growing roses when we moved here, just that my youngest daughter loved them. So we decided to plant some and not like the, um, what do they call them? The, I don't know, the little roses knockout roses <clears throat> we painted we planted the big long stem roses and they're actually doing a lot better now this year since we've had some tree removed from the hurricane all righty so we're gonna finally get this cut up i think it was about 18 to 24 hours after i made this one that we got to get it cut so the first bar is always the it's kind of underwhelming but it was still pretty good and we definitely put this one on its side so that the rose petals on top don't leave any drag marks in the soap from the wire cutter. But I think the whirls turned out really pretty. I actually really love the top. I love the, I never thought about using gold and pink before, but since this was the name for the soap, Golden Roses, I really thought that it was necessary. It actually turned out really well. I really like it. So definitely a combination that I'm gonna use again for sure but the gold the Mayan gold from Nurture Soap is just awesome it's a really pretty really pretty gold and when you use it on the top like we did here you can the little shimmery mica it really comes out really pretty and I really like the swirl the swirl actually came out way better than I thought it was going to and this one and the smell is just divine there's a perfume that um, I used to get, I think it's just really hard to find now. I'm not sure if they even still make it. I have a bottle that my husband got me quite a while ago. It's called um, 
Cashmere by Chopar or Chopar by Cashmere. I can't remember which one, but um, it's very kind of vanilla-y and warm. And that's what this soap really reminds me of. It doesn't have a whole lot of hugely overpoweringly floral notes like you would think with rose. So um, it's a really, and it's definitely, I have used this, I've had it in the shower a couple of times and the fragrance definitely lasts a really long time. We found a bar that was hidden away somewhere and it had been over a year and it was still, um, the smell was amazing from last year when I made this one. So um, anyway, we really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We enjoy making them very much and we appreciate all of our subscribers and we've had quite a few um, add and I'm sorry I haven't had a whole lot of videos lately but we are still doing a lot of cleanup from the hurricane and it is taking a lot of our time. It's only my husband and I and the kids every once in a while but they're all in college and right now they're getting ready to um, take finals and do all that stuff so uh, they haven't had a whole lot of time to help out either. And um, so anyway, we do appreciate all of you. If you would um, like this, if you like this video, please let us know, hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, we appreciate every single one of you, but we do appreciate all of you for watching. And we thank you so much. And we hope that you um, have a very blessed day.